Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a solid axle suspension. So let's get to it. First thing we need to do is find the north direction of the map. This can be done by placing a spray on the ground and seeing which direction the top of the spray is facing. This will be the direction you will build your vehicle in. It's important to build from north to south because ball stock is to take into account the direction of the prop you are placing them on. Next spawn is 60 by 192 by 3 plate from S props and spawn two 6 by 66 cylinders from the cylinders menu. This will be your base and your axles. Next, set the snap sensitivity of your precision alignment tool to zero, select mass center, mass center, right click, hit pulse, shift E to create a second point. Now move first to second. This is going to move the first axle into place, then do the same thing, hit mass center, press left click on the axle, right click the axle, select hit pulse, shift E onto your base, and move first prop to second. Once placed, get your precision tool out, set the push pull amount to 15, make sure this is not checked, press R on the top of the base, this is going to move the base up by 15 units. Once done, get your precision alignment tool back out, set the snap sensitivity back up to 100, select hit pulse, select the center side of your base, select the center side of your other base, select mass center, select one of your axles, and select your other axle. Now pressing R will open up your precision alignment panel. You're going to go to constraints, select one to three, select rope, rigid, set everything to zero, you can set width to whatever you want, I'm going to set it to one for demonstration purposes, create constraint, now select one to four, create constraint, two to four, create constraint, and two to three, create constraint. This is going to create a rope from the side of your plate to the center of your axles. Next, spawn a plate. This plate is what's going to have all our wire on it. Select hydraulic tool and select each axle in the base and create two hydraulics per axle. It doesn't matter where you click, we are going to be moving the hydraulics later with precision alignment. Once that is done, get your precision alignment tool back out. Select hit pulse select snap sensitivity to zero, select in the center of each axle, and the center point right above the axle of your base, and hold shift. Hold shift, press E, select your third point, hold shift, E, select your fourth point. You're going to do this for the rest of the points. You should have a total of eight points once you're done. Once you've got that done, double click point two, move it up by 40 units. In this case, because my Z axis is negative 949, I'm going to set to negative 940. That's going to move it up by 40 units. Double click your fourth point and set that up by 40 units. Double click your sixth point, set, set that up by 40 points. Double click your eighth point and set that up by 40 points. Once you have that set, right click your first hydraulic controller, press R, go to constraints, select one and two, select hydraulic, I recommend setting this to zero, but I'm going to set it to one just for demonstration purposes so you'll be able to see the hydraulic as they're created. Select Create Constraint. Now right click your second hydraulic that corresponds to points three and four, 
select 3 and 4, create constraint. Select your another hydraulic using right click that corresponds to point 5 and 6. Select 5, 6, create constraint. And for the final one is 7 and 8, create constraint. Once that is done, you can delete all points and now you have hydraulics set. At this point you're going to want to get your constant value out, place it down, add four values, one of them we're going to set to 35,000, the other one we're going to set to 2,000, and the third one we're going to see the length of our hydraulics. They all should be the same and they all should be a roughly 56.5. So we're going to set each one of these to 56.5. We're going to set the rear ones to 56.5. Next, wire the length of your front hydraulics to the first 56.5. The length of the rear hydraulics to the second 56.5. This is so you can raise and lower the front or back depending on where the weight is distributed on your frame. Next you're going to wire constant on all the hydraulics to 35,000 and you're going to wire the damping on all your hydraulics to 2,000. Once you have that done get your weight tool out and select the weight of your base prop to 500. Select each axle to 200. Once you have your weight set, next get your ball socket tool out. We're going to ball socket each axle. Now we're going to ball socket Z and X. Select the axle and your body. Select your axle and your body. The ball socket settings are as follows. Once you have that set, you should have a very basic suspension that should work. With working axles, but what's a suspension without wheels? So go to S props, transportation, and we are going to use size 50 wheels so spawn four wheels using the precision tool and move function select the center of each wheel and move it to each axle Once done, get your Make Spherical tool out and click each wheel. Next, get your Axis Center tool out and select the center of each wheel and the center of each axle. That corresponds to the wheel. So the back wheels go to the back axle, front wheels go to the front axle. Make sure when you use the Axis Center tool, you click on the outside face of the wheel and you can click anywhere on the axle. Once done, you can copy and paste. I'm going to no collide all multi. You can no collide each prop individually if you wish. Spawn. And you should have a very basic suspension. Now in the next video, we're going to go over how to add steering to the suspension as well as in a future video we are going to have a way to power the wheels on this suspension and allow it to move. But for now, this is a very basic solid axle suspension that will work.